Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Final is a zinc oxide eugenol cement used in the final cementation of inlays, crowns, and bridges. The materials needed for mixing are a stopwatch, the white final measuring scoop, a four by six inch parchment pad, the 336 spatula, the cement liquid, and the cement powder. In dispensing the materials, the dental assistant begins by rolling the bottle of powder to separate the particles. One level scoop of powder is measured onto the right side of the mixing pad. Swirl the bottle of liquid to ensure uniform density of the contents. Open the bottle and fill the dropper. Keeping constant pressure on the bulb, dispense one drop of liquid back into the bottle. For consistent drops, hold the dropper perpendicular to the mixing pad. Dispense seven drops onto the pad at the left of the powder. When mixing final cement, a whipped cream consistency should be achieved in less than one minute. For this result, a timing device is employed. Begin mixing by folding the entire quantity of the powder into the liquid with a packing motion until all particles are moistened. After the powder and liquid are thoroughly incorporated, strop the mix vigorously over a large area of the mixing pad, bringing the cement to the whipped cream consistency. The cement is now ready to be placed in the casting. Completely cover the internal portion of the casting with a thin layer of cement and pass to the operator. The final setting time is five to seven minutes from the start of the mix. Proper preparation and mixing of the cement will assure the operator of precise cement qualities and sufficient working time. Listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.